Hey everybody, it is Eric, it is Jay, welcome to Lemons World. Today we are going to tell you about a 24 hours of Lemons car and we want you to guess what it is based on the description. It is Japanese, it is turbocharged, all wheel drive, manual transmission from the 1990s made for a single year with 400 cars, give or take. Uh, Subaru WRX 22B, ha! You are wrong. It is the Isuzu Impulse RS of impulsive driving slash Napoleon complex slash Wonderman consortium. A whole bunch of teams who have all run together with a bunch of team captains, but team captain Monty is the main dude behind this Impulse RS. All right, so what the hell is an Impulse RS? Well, you might ask. I don't want to go too far into the weeds here. Let me just say this has the General Motors stamp of approval all over it. But on the other hand, it is a Jujaro designed sports coupe. And in case you're keeping track, the same car essentially as the Asuna Sunfire in uh, Canada and the Geostorm in America. So great provenance. Uh, this might be a good time to point out that there was once a celebrity pro-am race in Des Moines, Iowa featuring Geostorm. We'll provide live coverage of the Geo Storm uh, race. As we said, that challenge starts at 4.15. And we will bring you some of the other results and highlights from today's Grand Prix. But the Impulse, it was sold here mostly as a base model twin cam 1.6 port cylinder. It was really a piece of crap. Fun side note, that exact same motor went into the Lotus Elan M100, also a piece of crap. And all of these cars, not just anything special, had a handling by Lotus badge. Lotus was contracted to fine-tune the dampers and suspension, which I think means they got a $300 check. But for one year only, in 1991, Isuzu introduced the absolutely killer RS Turbo with all-wheel drive, making 160 horsepower, and it had passive rear steering, you know, for that competitive edge. Now, they flew off the lot so much that they never offered it again, and they only sold about 480 or so in 1991, and this is one of them. So now, where does somebody find one of these super rare Radwood trademark classics? Well, uh, it's actually not that hard. So Monty, he didn't find one, he found two. He found this uh, teenage mechanic project car, had probably been through some number of floods, and an entire parts car that was taken apart for a high quality Radwood level restoration, never put back together again. Now, Monty figured this is exactly the kind of thing that we would love to see in Lemons, and he was right. Now, he originally planned to race the Teenage Mechanics car, but as he started to kind of look at it, he saw it was completely rotted away, which meant he had to take everything good off of the Teenage Mechanics car and then had just parts from two cars to basically build an Impulse RS from scratch. Now, the good news, bad news about this car is that this was the upgrade from the previous Isuzu, which was, of course, a Chevette with a Jujaro body on it. So it's good. No more Chevette, right? No, that's bad. That means absolutely zero modifiable parts on this thing. The only thing Monty could find was some lowering springs. Other than that, it's like stock motor, stock gearbox, stock passive rear steering, which basically just means, I don't know, soft bushings? Probably so. Thanks, Lotus. There's nothing you can do with this car. Now, Monty says with the driver in it, this tiny little car somehow weighs 2,800 pounds. So the performance is maybe not quite Subaru 22B worthy, unless you count blown head gaskets. Well, yes. So the little turbo 1.6 liter has carried on despite blowing head gaskets four separate times. They put it on there, it just keeps trucking with maybe a fewer ponies than it started for. So maybe the Lotus Elan engine is totally badass in lemons. Yeah, and pro tip, Lotus M100 Elan in lemons, eh, free reign, you can run whatever you want. So ask Monty like, what's this thing to drive? He goes, you know, it's surprisingly good. It's not fast, but it's surprisingly good. He said, handles okay, stops okay, just kind of keeps running. He loves it. So what's the next super rare one year classic to turn up in Lemons? Well, how about a 1977 Pontiac Can-Am? How about an 81 Cadillac V864? Need one of those. Or a 1981 Ford Escort SS. 77 Hornet AMX or an 83 AMC Spirit GT. But an 82 Cavalier Cadet Coupe, that's rare. That's like one of 1800. 
Collector Edition. Or a 2009 Pontiac G3. Now, you know what, screw that. Bring us a 57 El Morocco. Every second you don't subscribe or watch one of these videos, another Vega is sent to the crusher. Won't you help us save Classic?